This past week, I reconnected with some old friends of mine, my friend Dylan, who is responsible for all the artwork on this channel, including my intro, and a few of his mates I have come to know over the years. Dylan is, without a doubt, my oldest friend on YouTube. He's been following me since the beginning of 2009, and he's almost been like a brother to me ever since. So we got together and I wanted to try the new Predator Hunting Grounds trial as I had this very small interest in the game, although at the same time a strong disinterest for its focus on online cooperative gameplay. I figured this was the perfect opportunity to catch up with Dylan and for us to play something new and interesting that I could upload to the channel. What I thought would be a simple two hour fun play session, catching up with my friends, actually turned into an entire weekend of playing not only the Predator Trial, but the Call of Duty Warzone Battle Royale mode as well. That's another game I've been incidentally avoiding. I was actually planning on making huge headway into Doom Eternal's campaign, but I was having so much fun playing those games with my friends. In fact, I would dare to say, I haven't had that much fun in a long time. Dude, that's why it takes like 10 minutes to get into a game. <laughs> because everyone played the first match and they're like, oh no. Fuck! Oh my god, the game froze! What is this? The game froze! What happened? <laughs> you guys are gonna freak the- <laughs> As someone who's primarily focused on single player games, most of the little time that I have available to spend on games is me playing on my own. Sure, I binge a bit on the weekends, but that time is still spent focusing on single player story driven experiences that honestly I love and cherish. With my backlog as immense as it is, I feel the sense of duty to focus on completing the games I have sitting on my shelf. Hell, I even had a good number of games that are still wrapped in the cellophane. As a kid, I could never imagine buying a new game and not playing it right away. I was so focused on what I had in the moment, but at the same time, I felt like I never appreciated the experiences games were giving me. Sure, I had fun and made great memories with both single player and multiplayer alike, but today I have a much better understanding and respect of gaming on a whole, and rarely am I ever going in to just waste time. <laughs> what I was reminded of after my play session with my friends was the old times back when I had time to invest hours into games and it didn't take me months to beat any single one. After I got done with the game and started editing the videos, I got a bit emotional thinking of the last time I had played a game with Dylan and his friends. The last time I could remember was Uncharted 4 Multiplayer back when the game first released. It honestly was something like four years ago since I really sat down and played something with them. Sure, we kept in contact through various social media platforms, but even then that was starkly disconnected compared to what took place this past weekend. It got me thinking, when will I ever have that opportunity again? I think right now a lot of us have the time to connect with others and play video games due to the coronavirus outbreak, and many of us are stuck at home anyway, and our long friends and family members peek into our brains during this time. But when all returns to normal, what happens then? Do we expect to return to our normal lives as if nothing happened, or will the fallout of this epidemic surely change the way we live forever, and even the way that we treat each other? There's a guy like right where that red marker is. Yeah, inside it. Yeah. He's below us. Oh, I see him. Where is he? He's, He's right. The Behind the truck. Oh, there. He is. Right there. Shit. Does health regenerate at all? Uh, no. You can like. Well, yeah. The body armor is, and you can like use it back. Alright, I downed someone. He's down here. You downed him? He's, yeah, he's, in, he's there. The game's here. There's a guy in the screen. Yeah, over here, guys. There. Got him. I downed him. In that building, can you see it?
I know multiplayer content isn't the bread and butter of this channel. It's something I claim time and time again to not care much about, and it's something I've largely avoid discussing. However, it's been years since I've laughed as hard as I did in those past two videos. I'm usually confined to a quiet place in my bedroom, playing games, and mostly left to myself. You become accustomed to that over time, and while there is nothing wrong with that at all, it is in these moments where you have those brief experiences playing with your friends that reminds you of the joy that gaming can bring, not only through emotional and impactful storytelling, but with fun and engaging multiplayer as well. To all the kids watching this, enjoy this moment. Enjoy the time you have to talk with your friends every day. Enjoy the games that you all play together and make it a point to treat everyone as if it's the last time you'll ever speak with them. Because as you get older, things change. What feels like seemingly overnight and all that you're left with is the memories that you have. I'm not sure when I will ever get the opportunity to play games with Dylan or any of his friends again, but what I can say is I am thankful that I have uploaded those videos so I can go back and watch them in the far future where undoubtedly I'll be thinking of this very exact moment we're in right now. As for myself, I'm likely going to go back to enjoying my single player games. Cooped up in my room with my nice big 4K TV, blasting the volume so loud that people complain. But I'll never forget these memories I cherished, and I'll make it a point to give myself more opportunities to embark on new adventures with my friends, or settle a long score through fast-paced competitive action. And who knows, as we look forward to a new generation of gaming, this will seem like a fresh start, one to forge new memories and reminisce on others, as well as make new friends. And I have to say, I'm excited. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm trying out a new format with this one. I wrote down a script and sort of just read it to you guys through this video and uh, put a little bit more work into editing it and uh, making it just flow nicer. So do let me know what you guys think in the comments section if you guys want me to keep this format or if you want me to explore other options. Um, looking forward to hear what you say, right? Thank you so much for watching everyone and have a great day.